afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the other day, I got called a... What was it? A one-trick pony the other day. And I thought... Uh, like, yes, to be fair, I only do play Rhino when I go to locals. But I actually do test a lot of decks on the side. Um, and I thought I'd kind of showcase a few of the decks that I play on the side and a few decks that I haven't really seen in the meta and some that I feel like at some point or even like right now could easily just come in the meta and just like swoop in and take over at least like a good portion of it. Um, I, I do test a lot. Um, it's one of the things that I you know, I, I don't have a life. All I do is just fucking come home, verse some people online, and then go to bed. Or, like, you know, do do normal things. But, yeah, so the first one that I wanted to show off, of course, is the Earth Briar list that me and my mate Hateful or Matt had been brewing upon. Now, he's changed a lot to this deck, but I still like the way that I've built this deck. Um, yeah, of course, you know, Briar, um, like extremely strong here in the meta right now, but I think it still hasn't been that explored still, especially that now that the, um, uh, Lightning Briar deck is out right now and taking over the entire meta, but at least this deck now has a lot of, um, like counter matches and everything. So of course you got your full package of Rosetta, Arcanite, Skullcap, Fiendal Spring Tunic, Grasp, Mage Master Boots, and Null Rune Boots. Um, yeah, so uh, you you've got like your full Earth package, um, your Channel Mount Heroic. It, it's it's nothing too innovative, but um, you do have a very 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 small uh, uh, elect electric pad uh, lightning package where you can go like electrify you have the um the blossoming spell blades and you can go like inspire lightning um i play my decks extremely defensively as you can probably tell um I, that's the way i kind of try and hedge in the games that i play so you still got your sigil of sufferings you got your fate for scenes um and you got your sink below still but, of course, you blow out cards, Snatch and Light Strike, Command on Conquer, Blossoming Spellblade, um, and your full, I think it's uh, nine, Stir the Wildwoods. I think this, I think this deck is still a very good deck, um, and maybe eventually, you know, on, uh, uh, you know, uh, December 14th, the, the day the ban list comes out, maybe this deck starts seeing a lot more play. So this is one of the decks that, uh, I started playing as soon as um, Briar was announced. Um, I have videos of this in the past showing how to play it. Well, not how to play it, but games of me playing it. And yeah. The next deck. Um, we have my updated Rhinar list. Uh, it's, it's like, I'll put it in here as well because I have made a lot of changes, which is why I haven't been posting a lot of Rhinar content. I've been kind of figuring out what I need to do to counter this Briar list. Um, so, uh, of course, you know, it's standard setup. I really haven't changed the equipment at all. Um, the Goliath Gauntlet's still there. Um, but one of the big changes I've made is now we have Cadaverous Contraband. Now, um, the Lightning Briar list doesn't like to be hit. So the way that I've kind of developed on the way of beating this deck is by putting Cadaverous Contraband in, of course, Command and Conquer, and playing extremely defensive Claw build, um, getting your momentum off by, uh, like, blocking as much as possible. Um, and, yeah, simply, that that's the way I've been playing. Um, you don't play aggressively, you still play a 60-card deck, um, but you just slot your Cadaverous Contraband in there to stack your Blood Rush Bellows back on top of your deck. They, like, they have to block this. And most turns you are blocking off, you've got the equipment there to block in everything, so... Yeah. Um, one other change that I've made to the deck is 3 Primeval Bellow in red. You need this now because um, the extremely tall decks and all that. You just kind of want to like hedge forward. Like this is 10 damage with Romping Club. Um, and another big change I've made is I've cut the Gorgonian Tome and I've put in Sigil of so uh, Solace. The big reason behind this um, is because 
Now that I need a little bit more health, if I can go first, so this is only if you go first, you slot this in, um, and if you open, of course, the Sigil of Solace, it's amazing. Um, you can search it out with Sand Sketch Plan and then, like, play Sigil of Solace just to gain the three health and ask Link a card. Uh, that's, of course, if you don't see a big combo. So, like, you know, like uh, like an Alpha Rampage first turn, a tri uh, like Triple Barraging Beatdown turn, or something that you can deal to them. You've at least got the Sigil of Solace uh, package to give yourself extra three health, which is really, really good. Um, so yeah, that, that's the updated Reinar list. Um, now, this is a personal love of mine. I have no idea where all the Dorinthia mains went. And I feel like everyone who played Dorinthia just stopped playing her and started playing new heroes. But Dorinthia's had a lot of really good cards come out for her. But the big thing that I've never seen play except for, I think it was a few of the, um, RTNs back before uh, Tales of Fire came out was the Hatchet Dorinthia. Now the full idea about this is like uh, the thick thigh Dorinthia is that you 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 really want to get as much momentum out of Valiant Dynamo. Um, of course this Briar list all their attacks swing for four or they you know they've got the extra cards and all that but simply you can block with two cards pitch a blue and then play a hit and run or um a spoils of war and like you're able to block for four consistently every single turn you still have the dawn blade in here but you're not relying on attack reactions you do have the packages for it though so um you've got your spill bloods for your dominate turns you've got your singing steel blades you've got your glints um and i think there's one overpower in here as well your one overpower and your route for end game against Lightning Briar. This card is so good against Lightning Briar because you know usually they'll they'll block with a you know a, 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 a non attack action for six for one card. So you can add it back to hand if you're trying to go for game. Um, of course, you still got the tunic in there, but when you are versing Lightning Briar, your full setup is the Courage, the Braid Forge, the Arc Knight Skull Cap, and uh, Valiant Dynamos. Uh, this is a list I haven't seen anywhere. It's a list that I really enjoy playing on the side. Um, you got two time snap for big turns. And you got your twinning blade here as well if you go still blade supremacy. And you're able to do a really big turn. Um, of course, prism's still a thing. Uh, so you got command and conquers and your nourishings. Uh, but yeah, this, this is this is if if you've been wanting to play Dorinthia in a completely different way in in this current meta, I really really recommend this list. Um, now I haven't played it outside of being at home and playing online with people, but I ha but I'd like to. It's just you know I don't really want to sink all the money into building this deck right now. Um, but yeah, th this this is the deck that I think people need it. Like, if if you want to play Dorinthia, he's his list. It's simple as that, right? Um, and I think I've got Arcane Chain. So this was an idea where I've seen online. Well, I think it was the UK Nationals. There was a deck roaming around that revolved around Dimensional Crossroads. You can play a very slow tempo game now with Chain. Instead of Chain's hero ability being, you know, go as quick as you possibly can, um, you can play the really, really slow tempo game and rely on just, like, getting three shackles and then just just playing an extremely slow tempo game. This is a list where you do have a lot of non-attack actions, but I do have a list where you play zero... Uh, like like close to zero non-attack actions you cut your sonatas you cut um your stings um and of course muted mutated mass i haven't touched this specific list in a minute or and all your plunder runs too but i haven't touched this specific list in a minute but i do really recommend this deck if you want to play a chain in a different way instead of this complete aggro list um yeah, uh, another change you can do is you can actually just completely cut Carrion Husk right now. Um, you can just chuck in the Tunic so that you can, like, rely on Dimensional Crossroads. But it is still there for, you know, the extra, uh, extra blocking. 
against aggressive decks. Um, people don't know it, but you can still play Eclipse. There's big combos where you can go Shadow Versus, your Invert Existence, and your Mutated Masses. Um, yeah, like, it is it, it is an extreme late game thing now, but it, the option is still there. Of course, Invert Existence is amazing. It's basically a Reckless Swing now. Um, and it can turn on your uh, Piercing Shadow Vice. It can turn on your Rip Through Realities and all that. So if you want a different type of list, I, I would recommend playing uh, the Arcane Chain list. Um, I think that's all the lists I have here. But on the side, I do play Wizard still. Um, it's a big love of mine. Um, hopefully Everfest. I'll switch back to... Um, yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully Everfest actually gives us more kind of, like, more options for Wizard. Um, I, I don't see it getting a lot of support. They probably will bring out a new uh, set eventually with a new Wizard hero. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, also Viscera. Play Viscera on the side as well. And I feel like I'm missing one deck. Oh, Leviah, but I'm not releasing anything until my deck profile for that comes out, because until the this Lightning Briar list goes, or like, let's say, Plunder Run gets hit or something, it, the deck's bad, like, extremely bad. But the deck is very good, and I'll give you a big hint, it revolves around Hexagore. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought I'd show that I'm not just a one-trick Andy, or one-trick Pony. I do play decks other than Reiner. It's just that when I want to go to an event or something, I feel most comfortable with Reiner because I've played it since day one. But yeah, uh, that's it for the video. Um, hopefully you get something out of this. I'll leave all the deck lists in the, um, in the description below. But yeah, uh, uh, peace.